Afternoon, everyone. Uh, thanks for coming. The usual format for us to do broadcasters and internationals in the first section. So, if there is anybody here, uh, or any foreign correspondents, please get your question in then, uh, because then we'll break to papers, which will be embargoed. And with that, Andy, here we go. Jose, good afternoon. Commission continues, please. Not many. Um, Kutra and Ivanovic, uh, they are out. And um, Pedro and Diego, we are going to wait. And all the others are fine. What exactly are you waiting for with, with Diego and, and Pedro? Do they have to come through training again or yeah. in the fitness test in the morning, maybe? Yeah. Are you hopeful? I am a little. If not, I don't, I don't take them to the hotel and I don't, I don't go for a, a, last, a last test. Luke Diego, is he someone that you consider playing even if he's only at 70%? Is he that important to you? It's always difficult for me to find these percentages. It's more about the, the confidence. I don't say the desire because the desire I know is, is, is there. It's more about the confidence of, uh, of the players, you know. Just for clarity, um, I think you had until 6 o'clock yesterday to respond to your misconduct charge. Are you able to tell us what your response to that was? No. 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 You don't want to talk about that at all. No. Have you had any update on your suspended stadium ban appeal yet? Is that happening today? I think so. Do you, do you expect to find out before the end of the day then? I think so. Optimistic on that? No optimistic, no pessimistic. Just wait. Okay. Um, in terms of Liverpool this weekend, what changes have you you seen in your opponents? Uh, since the new manager has taken over, how have they changed? They were a good team, they are a good team, they had good players, they have good players, they had a very good manager, they have a new very good manager. I think everything is the same. Uh, change some, some details, obviously, in their uh, tactical approach to matches, but this is the nature of uh, the nature of the game, especially when you are thinking and speaking about two top managers. When you change a top manager for a, a ordinary one, but when you change a top one to another top one, the level is the level is high. They know what to do. It's just a little bit of difference between the way they both think football. There's a lot of hype, a lot of interest that some people would maybe even describe it as a bit of a circus around Jurgen at the moment and his appointment. It's pictured everywhere he goes. Can't get him in his piece. Do you think he could be maybe an ally for you? Do you think you could sympathise with some of what he's going through? I don't want to say. From Jurgen, I just say that uh, I'm not a close friend because football doesn't normally allow that. But he's a guy that I like a lot. We have a good relation, and as a as a manager, his work speaks. And uh, in spite of uh, the last season, was to forget. I consider him one of the top managers in Europe. Last season, he had a, he had a really good team that was going through a difficult moment. The club showed faith in him when they were near the bottom of the league and he got them into the European places. Is there any similarity between what you're going through and what he had last year? And was that a good example of a club showing patience and faith in a manager? I don't want to speak about it. I'm also a good friend of, uh, of the top people in, uh, in Borussia Dortmund. I know how good they are and how stable they are, but uh, no more than that. A couple more. Lots of opinion about Eden Hazard and whether or not he's he's suffering from a dip in form. You've got access to all the stats and, and data analysis about his performances. Is he suffering from a dip in form? Some of it's comparable to, to last year. Do you think he's struggling? Um, I think it's not because uh, he missed an important penalty that uh, I'm going to be critic. And um, 
he tried everything in the last game. He had a positive, uh, positive game. Played for two hours. <coughs> I am pleased with his performance. Does that show he's created more chances than, than at this stage in the league last season? Distance covered is pretty similar. Sprints pretty similar. Uh, are you happy with him throughout the whole season, not just you know this week? And his reaction to that penalty. I'm happy in, with this performance against uh, against Stoke. I was happy with this performance against uh, Dinamo, Dinamo Kiev. Before that, he was on the bench a couple of matches, obviously because I was not uh, happy and I felt it was the best thing for him. But um, I'm happy with with this positive uh, reaction to that. Didier Drogba has scored 12 goals in 12 games for Montreal Impact. Would you consider bringing it back on loan in January? Do you, do, you, do you want me to compare the Premier League with the MLS? No, no. Do you think he could still offer something? <clears throat> DJ would always offer something to a, a club and a group that loves him and that he loves. That's no, no doubts about it. Would you consider bringing it back in January? No. Thank you. Alison. Hi, Jose. Um, Jurgen Klopp's um, Dortmund denied you a place in the Champions League final. Does that give you a bit of extra respect for the manager of what he achieved? I'm not going to speak more about Jurgen. I told enough and I think it's enough what I told. In terms of the game then, you've, um, you've faced Liverpool on so many occasions. There's, there's been so many great um, clashes over the years. Is there one that kind of encapsulates Chelsea against Liverpool, one that, that comes up for you? Every game is a game I like to play. It makes no difference. How much, uh, Jürgen Klopp has said that Christian Benteke has been training as normal. How much of an impact will he be? Will he have? I don't speak about Liverpool players. Yes. Um, the game against Liverpool at Stamford Bridge in the League Cup semi final, it was the first leg last season, was absolutely fantastic. It was just non stop action from one end to the other. Do you anticipate a similar sort of match or is this totally different, Jose? Well, you, you are saying that the game was fantastic, but uh, the after game was not so fantastic. Uh, so hopefully we don't have more of the same. How do you mean after the game wasn't fantastic? We are going to try to play as well as we did in the last in the last season against them. While you've been on this run this season, have you been able to draw on experiences of? previous problems not being able to win enough games or have you ever been in this situation before having lost half as many games as you've won? No. What do you want me to tell you? I don't know. What, you what don't know you my story? Yeah. But what, you, what experience do you draw? Do you want to buy my book? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had a run like it is what I'm asking. You, you don't know that? Well, yeah, I do, but I'd like you to... So if you, if you know, what, what are you asking me? How do you deal with it? How do I deal? The, what? There's no doubt in your mind you'll get out of this. No. And that you'll qualify for the Champions League. I cannot promise. Okay. And can I ask one final question? I know what the answer will be, but I'll ask it anyway. Did you laugh when Jurgen Klopp described himself as the normal one? Why should I laugh? <laughs> it was amusing. Matt. Joseph, um, Keith Hackett, the former DGM OL, um, he suggested a, a meeting with Mike Riley. Is that something? <coughs> We're not going to talk about officials before a game, Matt. It's just not this out of bounds. Really, not, not just about officials, about mm -hmm. officials and about what people, what people, other people say, what other people comment. Uh, you have me here to give you what you want from me, but not from commenting other, other situations. Ramirez signed a, a new contract yesterday. How important has he been to you this season and how important is he in a game like tomorrow? It's not this season, it's not tomorrow. It's what he's doing since uh, he came to Chelsea. Is his, uh, is his mentality as a group man. He's a player that is ready to play, to be on the bench, to, to stay on the stands, to play midfield to play goalkeeper to play striker to play where the team needs is one of these guys that every manager loves and uh, I'm happy that the club uh, recognized that uh, he deserves that and everybody around is happy because Ramirez is one of these guys that uh, 
not many recognize what he really is and what he means. David? Jede, you talked there about not having had a run like this in your career. Is there any specific reason for it that you've identified and how concerned are you? You know, if you if you read the papers you you, you, you know you know the reasons because every day comes reasons for that and people that knows everything so don't ask me, you read the papers and you will be very well informed. But, but what is your view on 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 the situation and, and, and my view is not important because the way you write uh, is like the true clearly the true so there is no space for a for a discussion the true is the true a club of Chelsea's size and stature um, is, the, is this a, a serious concern to you the, the position you're in, in the well place? I think Chelsea is a big club um, is a the club that I choose to come is a club that um, I live in a, in, in a very specific way every day of the life of this club. But with all the respect, Liverpool is a big club. Man United is a super big club. And um, last season Liverpool uh, win nothing and didn't qualify for the Champions League and they are still a big club and two years ago Man United didn't qualify for the Champions League not even to the Europa League win nothing and they are still a monster club and that's football Have you had any discussions with uh, Mr Abramovich and the hierarchy about the current situation? I don't have to tell you And just, just finally is there any comments on the, the possibility of a uh, a public tribunal of the Eva Canero situation? No. <clears throat> uh, I think you're asking in relation to media reports that they'd lodged legal paperwork with us. We're not aware that we've received any paperwork. Well, I'm not aware we've received any paperwork, so we'll just keep to our consistently public stance, um, <coughs> which is that it's an internal staffing matter, so we won't comment. Okay, anybody else before we uh, turn cameras off then, please? Yes, sir. Could it be dubbed as a must-win? Is it too, too early for that in the season? Sorry? Could it be dubbed as a must-win? Is it too early for that in the season? Is this a must-win game or is it too early? In my career, every game is a must-win. I don't win always. But it's always a must-win. Okay, right, thanks, guys. Cameras off, please. And then if you could just uh, pack those away and exit the room, we'll continue. Thank you.